Hi and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today we'll be cooking stir-fried rice vermicelli with crab. So let's start cooking. We are now going to fry the condiments. Heat up a pan or wok. Make sure you don't use a non-stick one because we'll be frying crabs and we don't want to scratch it. Add in a good amount of oil. You need a good amount of oil because basically we'll need the garlic, shallots, the ginger to be really, really fragrant. Add in five cloves of garlic, sliced thickly like this. Five pieces of shallots, also sliced thickly. A few pieces of ginger, young ginger will do fine. Just put the ginger in. Just put it in first. And then we follow by the shallots. And then we put in our garlic. We need to fry them until they are fragrant. I'm using medium heat right now. We just need to brown them a little bit. Right, you can see the garlic, the ginger, the shallots, they are all browning already. Now we add in two cups of water. Add in also two tablespoons of oyster sauce. Mix them up well. Add in half a teaspoon of sugar. Mix them up well again. Put the lid on and we'll wait for the water to come to a boil. Once the water is boiling, we'll put in our crab. I have with me over here one whole crab. This is approximately 1.2 kilogram. Of course, if you can get something big like this, you can always go for two smaller ones. No problem. Clean it, crack it, crack the shell and just put everything in. I'm using Sri Lankan crab, but you can use any type of crab, no problem. Put the lid on. And for a crab this size, we'll steam this for 10 minutes. I'll see you back in a while. 10 minutes is up. Let's have a look. Wow, smells really good. If you are using smaller crab, you can just steam them for approximately 8 minutes or so. We will now remove the crab. Let's just give this broth a taste first. Wow, it's very, very flavorful. Now we'll add in our bihun, our rice vermicelli. This is 150 grams of vermicelli, which I've actually rehydrated. Just put them in. Now we add in 100 grams of cabbage to make this dish healthier. Mix them up well. To hydrate the bihun, we just need to soak this in water for about 10 minutes or so. Now we'll add in two tablespoons of dark soya sauce. If you want it darker, you can actually add more. But of course, let's see how this looks like first. This is good. Wow, this is very, very flavorful. Of course, for fried bihun, you need to have white pepper, a few dashes of white pepper. Mix them up well, so that the rice vermicelli can absorb this beautiful sauce. Now add in a small bunch of coriander leaf, as well as one stalk of spring onion. Mix them up well. This dish is almost done. Finally, we'll add in two tablespoons of Chinese cooking wine or hua tiao jiu. If you don't take alcohol, you can always omit this, no problem. Okay, time to dish this up and have our lunch. And now the dish is done, let's have a taste. Oh, it's very aromatic. Let's try the rice from chili. Mm. Approve. The sweetness of the crab, the aromatics from the shallots, the garlic is really infused into the rice vermicelli. This dish is really, really good. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoy our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.